Six different sales went to the same exact person and I absolutely love it when that happens. Welcome back to the Commonwealth Cabin. My name is Kevin. Thank you for joining us today. I have a couple of questions I want to ask you to see if I can remember in just a minute because I want to talk about something else for a second. And then we had a bunch of sales today, some really nice high priced items. And then one thing that I really, really love, which is one person buying multiple different items, you know, that just cuts down on shipping time exponentially. And they bought six different things that would have taken me maybe four to six minutes a piece to package and ship and now it's gonna take me half that time or a little bit less than that. And we're gonna ship it all out in one batch. I also have Blue Ridge Mama inside the eBay cave today. Normally we do a little bit of the show in here and then a little bit of the show in there, but Bubba, my oldest boy, is in there taking pictures of shoes. We are right at the bottom of the death pile, which is where shoes go <laughs> if you're me. I hate doing shoes. And he usually does a pretty good job. He cleans them, he takes pictures of them, then he ships those pictures off to Blue Ridge Mama and she lists them. Because not only do I hate cleaning and taking pictures of shoes, I also hate listing them. So she ends up with the stuff I hate, which is really nice of her. And she's in there pulling a few items out of there. Since he's working in there, we figured we'd do the whole show in here today and hopefully get everything packaged and shipped and off to the post office in time. We could drop this stuff off tomorrow. We don't have to get it out today, but we are going to uh, do our best to get it out today. Hey, she brought us a couple more things. You can probably see it from the last clip to this one hanging back here. Let me show you something real quick. I'm going to show you two things really quick, starting with this one. All right, so this one's going off to Troy over at Mountain Man Treasure. He asked about it. He said he saw it in a video the other day. I was doing some work. I think it was a video over on Commonwealth Flipper. And he said, let me just read what he said here. He said, glad to have spotted this in a video. This will be hanging in my garage slash shop slash eBay warehouse. And uh, we're happy to send this off to you. I think I paid a buck for it. I cannot remember the exact sale I bought this at, which is pretty rare for me. But it's happening more often now that we're at the bottom of the death pile in there. Now, I imagine you are a Notre Dame fan or you wouldn't have bought this. Hopefully, none of my uncles are watching this. They don't like it when I sell Dodger things and when I sell Notre Dame things. Because we're from Southern California and we were Angel fans, so that negated the Dodgers. Now, I was a UCLA Bruin fan, but the USC fans in my family probably wouldn't like to have seen this thing hanging over there or even like it being in the Commonwealth cabin here, Troy. So I'm glad it's headed your way. We appreciate the sale. So for $9.95 plus shipping, I usually pick this kind of stuff up. These banners sell, not just sports team banners. Any kind of banner sells fairly good. You would be surprised. This happens to be a large one. So if you can find some vintage looking banners, you usually can get $10 to $15 for some of them. If there's something unique about them, I would go ahead and pick those little banners up. People like to hang them in their yards. We do too. We have a couple of them out there. I think we have a Virginia Tech out there right now. Anyway, thanks Troy. We appreciate it. All right, the reason I showed you that one first and then this one is because Troy announced the other day that Reagan, my little homeschool hustler, is going to be interviewed on his show. On his show on Monday. So this should be Saturday when you're watching this. So on Monday, she's going to be over there. I can't remember the time. I'm sure Reagan could probably tell me the time better than I can remember it. But we'll post it on Instagram. We'll post it on our community page. So Reagan is really, really excited. You know, as of now, I'm not doing interviews, but Reagan said, oh, I can do them. And she wants to promote a few things. One of the things she's promoting besides herself and her channel and her store and CommonwealthPicker.com, which she's in charge of, is the charity work that she does along with her mom, Blue Ridge Mama. So they asked me for something, and I mentioned the other day, Manitarium here had his girlfriend pass away from colon cancer. And we said right there when he sent us some nice license plates over here, he sent us a few of them, including that Sunny Manitoba one. And I think back here, if I can find it really quick, there's a cool Iowa one. There it is right there, 1963 Iowa. And he sent us those along with some other things. And I said right then and there that we wanted to do a donation in his girlfriend's honor, in his honor. And I said, we're going to auction this thing off. So we reached out to him and he said, you know what, let's just give that money to St. Jude's too. They help with children's cancer. We're going to do it that way. And so Reagan is going to, Troy, I'm sorry, I know you and Reagan had talked about this, but I'm announcing it here. We're going to do some kind of an auction or a sale or something over there. I'm not sure what they have planned exactly for this in a man scrub. And I will sign it if you want me to, of course. Uh, Reagan will sign it if you want. Whoever you want to sign it will sign it. If you're interested in doing that, all of the proceeds from this sale 
are going to go to St. Jude's in the month of May. That's what we've been doing so far in the month of May. And I'm proud of Reagan for doing this, and she's going to do it on Troy's show. So I'm not going to be there. If they're down here during that interview, I want to be upstairs and vice versa. I want this to be her thing. I'm sure Blue Ridge Mama will have to be close to her little baby, but I want her to kind of grow and be able to do this thing on her own. So thank you so much, Troy, for reaching out to her, and I'm looking forward to watching it upstairs or down here, wherever I'm at. And don't forget to go over there to Troy's right now and sub and hit that alert button right there, and you'll get an update, I think, on Monday, and you can watch that show with us. Maybe I'll be in the audience. Maybe I'll be making comments in there, too, and I'll be talking to you. All right, here's a Minolta SLR camera, and I mentioned the other day that Rideshare Reseller did a video on cameras. He didn't have a ton of cameras to show us that day, but he's really, really knowledgeable, and I've learned a lot from him already. And I hope to continue to learn some from him over the stretch of this summer and get a lot better at cameras because there's a lot of money in cameras, and the more you know, the more you'll make. And I want to be able to make more per camera just by simply knowing what I have, knowing how to test it, and give some assurance to the buyer. So this one sold for $64.95 plus shipping, and it sold fairly quickly. I had initially listed it wrong, talking about knowledge, and somebody saw it, and it wasn't a viewer, and they said, hey, this is what you did wrong here. Let's, you know, fix it up. I'm like, okay, sounds good. And that's exactly what I did, and I fixed it up, and it sold $64.95 plus shipping. All right, here are some of those Nike shoes that we we're talking about. These look pretty nice. They're in pretty good condition. Bubba cleaned them up, he took pictures, and Blue Ridge Mama listed them, sold for $18.95 plus shipping fairly quickly. All right, I love selling these, and this particular set of Tom Watson Ram clubs with the actual wood woods here. And it's in okay condition, it's not spotless, it's not perfect. I have sold this particular set of Tom Watsons before, probably three or four times before, and the price keeps going up with time. You know, these are getting older, harder to find, and some people look back at their childhood and think, oh, this is the set I had when I was a kid. I used actual wood woods when I was a little kid, and I remember this set. Now, I didn't have this set, but I remember a few people that did have this set, and people love to be nostalgic. I can't imagine a serious golfer wanting to use this set, so this is going to be used for a couple of purposes. Either somebody wants to have the set when they were a kid and actually go out and play with it, just to kind of bring back memories, or they want to have it and put it up somewhere in a man cave or something, or it's going to go into some kind of restaurant or clubhouse for a golf course itself, a bar, something like that as a decoration. And those are typically what people do with this kind of a thing here. But this is the full set. I paid five bucks for it at the 100 mile yard sale last summer. I almost didn't buy it because I had a few golf sets as it was. And I'm like, you know what, I'm going to buy this thing and I'm going to sell it. It took me forever to get to it in the death pile, but we did. And it sold for $118 plus shipping. We're going to package these up and get them off today. Here is a Commonwealth Picker Special, this ruby red ashtray. I'm not sure where I got this. I might have got this one from a viewer, but I pick this kind of stuff up all the time. I love this ruby red one. It's a big one, so it fits a cigar. And this one sold fairly quickly, actually, for $15.95 plus shipping. Here's a Walmart retail arbitrage buy, and this is a first class item. I think the biggest ones don't go first class, and we make like four bucks these do go first class. We make like eight bucks profit, maybe a little bit more. I can't remember. We paid two fifty dollars a piece. It's going out first class. They're selling for 20 bucks. Let's do the math real quick. Let's say it's three bucks in fees, three bucks for the purchase. That's six. Both of those numbers are a little higher than they need to be. Let's pull the shipping number down just a little bit and say it goes out for four dollars. And let's say it's ten dollars in, twenty dollars out. It's going to be about a ten dollar profit. But I think I bought like 40 of these. So over time, we're going to make some money. Last time I sold one of those, I made a little cosplay statement, and some of y'all were laughing at me, but I'm going to say it again. If you have something like that, an adult costume, put cosplay in there, and you can see where this thing's going. I better shut up. Sold a tent to a viewer. This is a 7x7, seven seven, and it's a Northeast Outfitters tent. My oldest boy, Bubba, his name's really Jacob. In the fall, we usually take all the air blowns, you know, the blow-ups for Halloween and Christmas and all that stuff, and, and I give them all to him, and he puts them all out in the backyard and blows them all up, and we go ahead and take pictures of everything. And I pay him to do it. And then usually once a year, we take all the tents, and he puts all the tents up, and we take pictures of the tents, and then we sell off the tents. Tents are a pain in the butt, and the money is not really great. I still pick them up every once in a while. If they look to be in very good condition, you're going to get more money if you put them up. This was not a particularly great buy. It's a nice tent in good condition. And a viewer bought it really quickly after we posted it. This is going off to Eric. 
and it went for 1995 by the way and eric says kevin been watching your channel for about a year i appreciate what you do and glad to see someone else like myself unafraid to part stuff out and scrape the bottom of the barrel <laughs> i guess that's a compliment and it's sort of true by the way it's not what i want to do it's not what i like to do but it's what we need to do at times around here because of sourcing although we could probably get a little bit better at that too he says, working three jobs and raising four kids. I really enjoy your channels. Hoping to start a channel of his own in a few years after he can retire from one of his three jobs. And this is Eric, the dog collector. The dog collector is his store, D-A-W-G collector. So Eric, thank you so much. And we hope you enjoy this. Your whole family's not going to fit in this thing. We had a tent city out here the other day. So I could have slept in the big tent and then we could have had some other folks in the other tent. I see Bubba out there right now. I'm gonna have to talk to him. He must have a shoe question for me. What's up? You done? You wanna say hi? <laughs> he's taller than me. Come here. Y'all see how tall he is? I'm better looking, but he's taller. Can you tell Turner to come out here if he wants to open his gift? Yeah. Okay. Where is he? Uh, inside probably watching something. Yeah. All right, I absolutely love it when this happens. Six different, I guess you'd call them magazines, even though they're not. Six different sales went to the same exact person, and I absolutely love it when that happens. So much easier to pack one thing up than to package six different things up. All in, this buyer is all in for $58.80, which is awesome. It is all pure profit after fees and after shipping. Hey, we got one going out to Daniel, one going out to Rob. Rob says, hey, this is Rob, the Chesapeake Picker. I've been a fan for a while and just got back into picking and flipping. Just opened my eBay store last month and have now started on YouTube as well. You, along with John and Lonnie and others, have helped a lot. All right, so thanks so much. And he puts his eBay store up here as well. eBay.com, str slash Chesapeake Picker and YouTube at Chesapeake Picker. I'll have to check you out. Thanks so much. All right, you can see Turner's here with me now. He knows there's a, a gift for him yeah. today from a viewer. I think it's from Ivan out there. All right, here's a Cadillac emblem, and this one sold for $15.95 plus shipping. This has taken two years to sell off. Most of the other ones sold pretty quick. But this one took a little bit longer, but we're happy we made the sale. All right, we have one going off to Donna and one going to Keith. He says, heard these guys bring good luck. Need the luck right now. My wife and I really love your videos. Keep up the good work and also check out my store, Keith Stipes. That's the name of the store. So thanks so much, Keith. And I think I got your message about signing it as well. So we'll do that and send it off your way. Nike golf shirt took forever to sell. It's a double XL, but it finally sold. And we didn't get a ton of money, but we got 13 bucks free shipping. And I'm glad it's finally gone. I got another one going off to Crystal and one going off to Joseph. And Joseph says, Hi, Kevin, been a viewer of your channel and appreciate all of your knowledge. Just opened my eBay store and would appreciate a little in a man power. Always did thrifting and swap meets and now it's for resale. Could you please have your family sign him? God bless you and your family. He says, I'm Joseph from Old School Picker. All one word, not old school, but old school. O-L-S-K-O-O-L picker store. He says, thanks. And I'm only about an hour and a half north from your old stomping grounds in Ventura County. Absolutely. So thanks so much. We appreciate it. And he's off to you. Turner is going to get the dollar by himself today, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. No sissy to help out, huh? Yeah. Okay. This is a set of Mickey's Reading Library. I think that's what it's called. Reader's Library. And these books sold for $17. We did a best offer on it. Yeah. Plus shipping. Pretty heavy though, huh? Yeah. Yep, and you're going to get a dollar. And you know what else you got? Uh, a surprise. You got a surprise. Let's go take a look. All right, buddy, this came from Ivan. You want to start pulling yep. through there? You are getting spoiled lately. We're going to have to no. <laughs> figure out a way to control a that. Spider -Man huh? <laughs> it's a Spider-Man hat. It's a Spider-Man hat, huh? That's so cool, buddy. There's a note. I'll take the note, and you can take the Spider-Man hat. Whoa, that's cool. All right, it says, I'm sending these items to Turner, and I hope you and the missus don't mind. I saw these at Goodwill and thought he might like them. That is very, very sweet of you. Very nice. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. I'm going to have to leave that note for a minute because Turner is excited. Turner loves cars. He love loves it. it. <laughs> yes, you do. Tell, tell us who those are. The King Chick Hicks. That's the King Chick Hicks and Lightning, Hicks and Lightning McQueen. McQueen. Is that awesome or what? Yeah, that's awesome. And he is one of our favorite viewers. And this is too much. Y'all have been doing way too much for us lately. What is that? 
Oh, look at that. What is it? What is it? A CD. Mater's Cartoons. Oh my goodness. You can play that in the car. That's cool. That's really cool. That is pretty cool. Look at that. We're going to listen to that, aren't we? Look yeah. at that. All of that at Goodwill. Will you tell Ivan thank you? Thank you, Ivan. Is that amazing? Yeah. Are you spoiled? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of kids in the world that don't get people sending them stuff through yeah. the mail. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we should be very appreciative, huh? Yeah, yeah. that's right. And that's why you do some good things for some other folks. So we're mm -hmm. going to have to pass this kindness on, okay? Bye. Bye. All right. Hey, and I just wanted to give a giant thank you as well. That was very, very kind of you. And Angie's Treasure Chest, I think, is the eBay name, right, Ivan? I appreciate it. And to both of you, not just Ivan, but to Angela as well. Thank you all so very much.